In today's video, I'll share my luxury purchases from my recent trip to Barcelona, Spain, and I'll tell you about the shopping experience. I wouldn't call this a haul, because that's not really my thing. If I buy something, I have planned it carefully and I intend to get use out of the item, so I am intentional about shopping. In this video, there are three items, one of which I intended to purchase in Barcelona, but it wasn't available. However, once I got back home, I was able to order it online, so let's consider it part of the Barcelona purchases. <music> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kalle and I talk about luxury and finances. I don't just show you beautiful things, but I also talk about the money behind the purchases. Check out, for example, my video on how to afford luxury on a financially sustainable basis. Or my video titled, What if my stocks go down? How to view stock market dips as an investor building wealth. The links are below. But without further ado, let's dive in. The first purchase came in this box, which I find a bit small for the contents. But anyway, what I got was the classic checkered Burberry winter scarf in the mustard color. So this is 100% cashmere and it feels very soft and luxurious to the touch. But if I compare this with my Louis Vuitton cashmere scarf, which was featured in my video on my luxury scarves, this is a bit thinner. However, I had had my heart set on this for a very long time and finally decided to bite the bullet. And I have already worn it with a couple of coats, both Burberry actually. So if you're into classics, you can't really go wrong with this. It's a staple accessory and the price was 420 euros. When it comes to customer service at the Paseo de Gracia Burberry store, it was absolutely top notch. I was warmly greeted as I entered the store and made to feel welcome right away. And my essay was just lovely. She showed me some options for the scarf, although I had my mind more or less settled on this classic one. If you're interested in scarves, check out my video on my luxury scarves, in which I also tie the Parisian knot and Ne Parisien, which goes something like this. Et voilà! I also asked my essay for a light down type of jacket as we had a look at the men's ready to wear department, which brings us to purchase number two, here fresh from the store on my hotel bed. The other shopping bag is from the FC Barcelona football store, a gift to my godson. As for the jacket, I had my options open for other brands as well, although Burberry was a serious contender. So what there was, was this jacket, which the SA fetched for me, and a Burberry coat or jacket always comes in a garment bag. So let's open it. It's a quilted jacket in navy blue. So this jacket has the Burberry check lining and on the tag it says here Burberry London England. And the jacket has a collar which you can lift up and the collar has some leather details and the Burberry check in grey. I immediately knew this was made for me. However, I didn't buy it on the spot as I wanted to be absolutely sure and give it some thought. So my essay reserved it for me. And of course, a couple of days later, I came back to buy the jacket, which was indeed what I had been looking for. It is size 44, which is perfect for me as I want a slim fit look. And very often any piece of clothing I'm trying is slightly too baggy. So this feels sturdy and structured and I feel comfortable wearing this. It's exactly my style. The price of this jacket was 1290 euros and it's my fourth Burberry coat or jacket. I've always been a fan of the brand, especially when it comes to outdoor wear. All right, we've come to the last purchase, which comes in this orange Hermes box. In my last week's video, I explained my fantastic store experience at the Hermes Paseo de Gracia store and also the items I was looking for, including this one. So although this wasn't available at the store, it was available in the Hermes online store and I ordered it after I came home. 
it's the new Constance belt, the width of which is now 38 millimeters. The H buckle is in matte brass or perma brass, and the French name is gris moyen, which is like middle gray. And the reversible leather strap is black and gold on the other side. So here's the belt with the buckle on. I also had another color in mind, namely Bleu de France, Blue of France, but it wasn't available in my size, which is 80. The buckle and the strap are sold separately and the total price is 760 euros. Here's the receipt. I have already worn this belt and I love it to bits. This belt completes my collection of Hermes belts. I have two 32mm belt kits as well, the first of which was bought back in 2009. So that wraps up the video. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Please drop a like and consider subscribing because that would really help my channel. Thank you so much. See you guys in my next video. Bye bye!